Uh, the title of this video is What Does the Bible Say About Cowardice or Being a Coward? At first glance, it would seem the Bible has very little to say about cowardice. Some translations do not even contain the word, while, while in others it is only found once in Revelations 21-ish, in which the coward is condemned to hellfire along with murders and sorcerers. Other, other translations use the word fearful in place of the word cowardly, but could it be that these words are synonymous? If so, what does that mean for us? And who have all been fearful? And who have all been fearful at one time or another? Are we the cowardly of which Revelations twenty one eight speaks? In the Greek word, in the Greek word translated cowardly in Revelations twenty one eight implies fearfulness and timid, timidity, timid, 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 timid. timid. T-I-M-I-D-I-T-Y, timidity. Uh, the dictionary also defines cow, coward, defines a coward as someone who lacks the courage to do the difficult, dangerous, or unpleasant things. A coward consciously shines away from unpleasant situations, doing whatever he can to save his own skin, enslaving himself to fear. Cowardice is sometimes linked to a guilty conscience. The wicked flee for, from no one. The wicked flee from no one pursues, but the righteous are bored as a lion. Proverbs twenty eight one. Scripture has much to say about being a slave to fear and contains stories of some godly people who gave in to fear. Peter is a good example of someone who once showed cowardice on enslavement to fear. Peter's threefold denial of Jesus to save his own life revealed a fear that was still surrendered to man rather than to God. Luke 22:54-62. Later, during the time of the early church, Peter once decided to refrain from eating with the Gentiles out of fear for the circumcision party. The Jesusans. Galerians, 20, Galerians and 22, 11 to 13. He feared of being criticized by the Jewish brothers kept him from obeying God, who had commanded him to accept the Gentiles into the community of believers, freely eating and drinking with them. Acts 11, 1 to 17. Despite Peter's cowardice on occasion, Jesus loved him and continued to call him a disciple. Luke 22, 31, 32. John 21, 15 to 22. With Jesus' forgiveness and the gift of his sanctifying spirit, Peter learned to live a life of great faith and, bo and boldness despite facing persecution. Peter 4, 12-19, John 2, 17-19. Joshua, Joshua was a man who led Israel in the conquest of Canaan. Given the many battles he faced and won, no one would ever call him a coward. Yet Joshua must have struggled with fear, for the Lord tells him over and over again to be not afraid. Be of courage, etc. Joshua 1 9, 18 to 8 1. It was encouragement against cowardice that Joshua passed along to the Israelites. Joshua 10 25. These are the numerous places in Scripture where God tells his people to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 6. This is a command, not a suggestion. How could God expect us not to be afraid? It is because he promises to strengthen us and be with us. His power and presence are ours. Timothy 1, 7, Pams, Sams, 27, 27, 28, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Perhaps at times we play the coward, enslaving ourselves to fear just because we do not take God's word seriously. We do not believe he is actually with us or will strengthen us. Well, it is natural to experience fear we are, command, we are commanded not to let fear control us. Instead, we are to cry out to the God of peace who has promised to be with us and will help us in our time of need. Philippines 4 to b 9 Islam, is I am, is I am 5112. Jesus is our best example of faith and fear while letting it control or keep him from obeying God. Luke 22, 42 to 44. If we are God's children by faith in Christ, we do not have to fear the condemn the the 
condemnation mentioned in Revelations 21.8 or see Romans 8.1. However, the statement that cow cowards will be considered to the lake of fire reminds us that fear, fear for a living is not the mark of a disciple of Christ. We must come to God with our fears, asking him to walk his perfect peace within us. Philippians 4, 6 to 7, Psalms 145, 18. He wants, he wants us to ask and he will not let us down. Matthew 7, 7 to 10. Is, 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 I'm very bad at this. I S R I R H is the M. 41, 10 and 2 Timothy 4, 17 and Psalms 18, 32 to 34. And that was the question, uh, what does the Bible say, uh, say about cowardice or being a coward? And I, I hope you found this uh, video very helpful uh, in understanding God and I hope it helps you uh, in finding a way to connect to God. Um, thanks so much for watching this video.